Okay, so Mukherjee, I want to come to you now. So, since uh, Balaji spoke about spectrum, now recently we we heard about idea acquiring video cons two circles, uh, and this will definitely help you also roll out 4G. I believe it's coming up. Uh, your 4G services are coming up in the next uh, calendar year. Um, so, but are you still? Do you also think that there is more need to buy? So, in the, the earlier panel, uh, also I was talking about you know there are 22 circles that we have in this country and. Every uh, operator is not present in every circle. So, is this something also that uh, you are looking to aggressively maybe go out and now buy more spectrum in circles so that you can provide these better services to the customers out there, which will help uh, you know use the mobile to get uh, people onto the digital India bandwagon? Yes, we have just acquired a certain amount of spectrum from uh, one of the earlier players, and it was uh, possibly the the quickest transaction after the announcement of the policy by the government of India. Um, it, it's a reflection of uh, the need for consolidation in this particular sector. Mm -hmm. There are a very large number of players yes. in this particular sector. The reality is that there are 10 or in some cases even 12 players in, in some yes. circles. But eventually the the majority of the revenue from the subscribers is confined to three or four players. Okay. So maybe as much as 80% of the revenue comes from just those three or four players. Mm. So the balance uh, players in the marketplace are actually, in a manner of speaking, spectrum squatters, mm. Mm. in a manner of speaking. So the policy which the government has come out with recently affords an opportunity for those people who have got underutilized networks to either exit mm -hmm. or use their, uh, their uh, investments in spectrum to monetize it differently. Okay. So that's one way of looking at it. The second thing, and so therefore spectrum is important. The second thing is, as we move from a 2G environment where the spectrum blocks were in lots of 200 kilohertz, now it might sound a little technical, but it's not actually. It just means that in, our, in the first phase of development, the technology used chunks of 200 kilohertz of spectrum. As we moved into higher and higher bands of technology, 3G and 4G, that 200 kilohertz has now become 5 megahertz. Right. And which is why you heard earlier people talking about the need to try and harmonize it because yeah. the harmonization means you have to take the 200 kilohertz in various different blocks, put it all together and get a 5 megahertz chunk of spectrum which is the only way that you can then move into this 3G and or 4G. Mr. Dhawani, I'll come to you, not about spectrum, okay, we'll talk Thank about you. something <laughs> a little, <laughs> little different. I want to talk to you about uh, your thoughts on how we can get the benefits of this mobile revolution to the far corners of the country, which is what is being aimed through Digital India. But what, in your opinion, are some of the challenges to get it to, to that last mile connectivity? We always talk about last mile connectivity, but what are some in the face, on the ground challenges that in your experience you are seeing? So it, uh, in one word I can answer this, if you really need to realize the Digital India dream, what you need is a network. And when you say network, I am not here vending Ericsson because I represent that company, but it is a continuum and uh, allow me to just indulge you fine people here, is it is almost alphabetic. It is A for access, B for backhaul, C for core, D for data charging and E for e-commerce enablement. Hmm. If you see these five, you know, kind of pancha mahabhuti, if you can just use an Indian term a little loosely and I'll explain it to you nice people, not from India a little later, is it has to be a combination of all these. Mm. And you specifically mentioned how do we reach beyond the boondocks and how do we go there. So I think the, the challenge is that there is only one network as an entity. The network comprises of this ABCDE, mm. let's say. And the same network serves this highly dense population which is in the Bombay and Delhi's. And the same network with a little bit of counter changes is expected to serve the Bijnors and the Bincers of the world, let's okay. say. 
how do we make that happen and that's when it comes to the challenge let's say we've heard so much about spectrum the whole alphabet has changed from abcd to only s but <laughs> if you see with the limited spectrum that we have mm. and all countries are blessed with the same spectrum it's not that us has different spectrum or we have different spectrum because the stratospheric composition of the earth is same mm. in all countries so how to use it in a nice intelligent way is where some of us have been striving uh, for the past 139 years you know that's the age of ericsson and we've been in india since 1903 so 112 years we've been trying to uh, rack our brains on this and various technologies have been bred you know and uh, what i think balaji referred to or rajat referred to is utilizing intelligently by doing a carrier aggregation by making harmonization in a nice way mm. so making sure that the ue the user end device is coordinating with the network in the most appropriate manner so that it does not drain off the battery in a jiffy even if you are watching you know a, a high definition video are all the nuances that you have to plan very carefully avinash i want to uh, get your view on again another topic with this is um, uh, since you are you know handling government affairs and public policy at at dell uh, obviously with digital india e governance is going to come up really well will help uh, you know the 200 lakh 50000 gram panchayats to get connected to better government services uh, what else in your opinion and you are following this integrally so what else is happening on the ground what 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 other benefits can we get what are the other opportunities that digital india will bring out well yeah, i think <coughs> it's, it's we're scratching the surface right now if we say that we're just doing one thing out of digital india uh, let me give you an example imagine a point time where you have broadband connectivity to every single gram panchayat right mm-hmm. what remains to happen then is that particular node to be given to another four or five villages around the gram panchayat mm-hmm. so which means that every school every college or every hospital can get internet connectivity now this is something that's already happening in some of these places I look at coursera look mm-hmm. at uh, edux, edux right you could just go in it's a two month course you pay 10 dollars you've got a certificate and you walked out and this is an experiment we're trying out somewhere outside gurgaon right now because the the district commissioner wants us to do that with him okay. he says i'll give you the space can you set up your computers can you get somebody who can provide broadband here mm-hmm. the broadband is available i can pull, have somebody pull a line and give you the connection there can we get these kids to start coming and using this mm-hmm. said so i'll give you people to train just have them train on basics of you don't need curriculum because that's already there on the uh, on the cloud yeah. you don't need people to deliver that content because that content is already there they've already developed it you just need people to sort of uh, aid mm-hmm. these people to get on to and tell them how to use it facilitate the whole thing right, right? right and look at the kind of operation that it actually provides right i think it is going to be looked at and i mean that that's where we are really kicked about about the opportunity here right now after this trend comes in Thank <laughs> you.